How can I remove inappropriate images from my mind that I have seen on the internet? So number one is that the most important thing is that we're told that you can't push away darkness with sticks. In order to push away darkness, you need light. So if you'll go try to fight it and to push it away by fighting it, you'll only cause bigger problems. The way to push it away is through increasing, first of all, the first point is when taking his mind off it totally, not even thinking about how to fix it, but totally taking my mind off it and perhaps at a later time in life when I'm at a better level where I know that I'm not struggling with this, then I can spend the time to fix it. But during a time, especially a bachar before he's married and even a young married person, it's not the time to deal with trying to fix it. Rather, one should take his mind, that's the, the Ira from the Tzemach Tzedek, and the Ira that the Rebbe very often quotes, take one's mind off it 100%, don't think about it. If the Yitzhara comes to try to make you think about it, instead think words of Torah, holy words, words of Kedusha. It's important for one to always have on his mind something in Torah, Mishnah, Perek Tanya, Perek Tilim, something that I can fill my mind with light, and holiness, and ma'at oir, a little bit of light, and how much more so, a lot of light, is doicha, pushes away, a lot of darkness. But it's not something which a person should be thinking about, number one, it brings a person for, to depression. Depression is the etza, is the advice of the etzahara, because then he'll catch you even more, and even stronger. And number two, because thinking about it itself is what makes the problems. And therefore one has to take his mind off it, not think about it, not think about fixing it, but rather increase in thinking about holy things and holy thoughts and holy Torah. And from now on, be as careful as can be not to look in places where one shouldn't look. Even if it's not terrible, but when a Jew doesn't look at certain places, it's something which a Jew is careful with his eyes that it doesn't look not only in inappropriate places, but in any places where he shouldn't be looking at all. And when one's extra careful with that, and careful also from now on, mikanu lahaba, but for anything of the past, take his mind off it and increase only in thinking words of Torah and holiness. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.